Hello YouTube, we're current viewing people of the world. So, you're probably viewing this video because you have this eMachines netbook and you're just so stumped because the BIOS is just locked. And for whatever reason it's locked, I don't really care personally, you don't have to tell me why, but for whatever reason it's locked, you just want to break through it and you don't know how. You tried looking on Google, you tried looking on the internet, you tried all sorts of methods and nothing seems to work. Well, I will quickly, easily, and fluently show you how to just remove it easily and just get it out of the way because that's why you're watching this video, obviously. So, all right, let's get to the basics and right away. Right now I have the eMachines netbook that is as currently given. I don't know, you can compare it to your own or whatnot, but this is my eMachines netbook and it's fairly new. Here's the model. I'll just show you guys. E-Machines 355-1693. Manufacturing date, 10, uh, 11 10, which was uh, basically November 2010, I want to say. Or the other way around, which was uh, October 2011. I'm not sure which way it goes, but either way, it's fairly new netbook. And we want to get rid of the BIOS. So that's what we're going to do. So, very easily, simply, and shortly, go to Google and in Google type in your computer model number. I typed in eMachines 355-1693 drivers. First thing that comes up, the website. Click on support. All right, there's my laptop. Yippee doo, there is that little darn sucker that just, uh, you just hate it because it's hard to remove that BIOS. So click on BIOS. And regardless of, or depending on what, you, what day it is, what year it is, how old this video is, I'm trying to future proof myself, but depending what day it is, this is the only BIOS that is on currently. There may be more like newer ones in the future as you may watch this. But whatever the top highest one is, the most newest version I want to say, you download it. So just click download. All right. As you can see, I already downloaded it, but I'm just going to download it again just to show you guys. La 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 la. All right. It's done. Yippee doo. You click on it. Open it up. All right. Click on this right here. You're going to have two things, DOS and Windows. Click on DOS. And depending on your laptop, if you have a DDR2 laptop, you want to download the D2 or copy and paste the D2 file on your USB. If you have a DDR3 laptop, which my newer model does, you want to copy the D3 file. So standard USB, doesn't matter what it is, just make sure it has at least enough memory to hold approximately, I want to say, two megabytes. <laughs> so two gig, plugged it in, all right. Let it load up, blah, 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 la, 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 la. Here we go, autoplay, let's open the folder. And I already have the file copied, but just to make you guys comfortable, grab what you need, drag it on the root, the front spot of your USB. And it's not gonna say this because I already have the file and you guys don't, but you just drag it, put it on your thing, it'll do this, two megabytes, it'll paste, you're done, all right? Simple as that. So, grab your USB. Make sure it's not flashing. Make sure it's done copying. We don't want to corrupt your whole laptop altogether. Pull it out. Cool, simple, easy. Plug it into an open USB port on your laptop or netbook. Cool, all done. Grab your AC power cord. Make sure it's plugged in the wall. Very important. Okay. Now, you're going to press FN and ESC. Hold them down. And at the same time, plug in your AC power cord. So let's see, let's see if I can arrange my camera really quickly like this. Uh, okay, that's not working out too well. Yeah, this is not working out too well. Okay, anyways, you get you guys get the point. So, or maybe I can hold it like this. Yeah, perfect. So hold FN, ESC, make sure you're holding them down. Plug in the AC cord, okay? Make sure you're still holding down those buttons and press the power button. All right, cool, you're more than halfway done. Press the power button and just keep leaving it held down. Keep leaving it held down. La 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 la, don't let go, just keep holding it. And you'll see your USB doing some activity and flashing and whatnot, yippee doo. But just keep holding it and holding it and holding it. And don't worry. You'll hear your laptop, um, also the fans should be like really loud, not that loud, but just, louder than normal and that'll mean that it's initiating a crisis boot mode which will 
automatically grab the file on your USB and of course flash the BIOS to a fresh system. So here we go, we're waiting, we're waiting, flashing, flashing, la la la, la 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 la. Okay, at this point you want to let go of the keys and just press the power button one more time. Okay, press it one more time and this is where the fun begins. You just sit back, relax and just stare at your laptop as it does miraculously nothing. So, if you're on YouTube, you can forward, you know, I don't know, maybe a minute or so. Because it's going to be kind of boring just staring at the video as it does nothing. But if you want to wait and be cool like me, then cool, awesome, do as you please. So, we're just waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Just keep waiting. And your USB will just keep doing what it has to do. It knows what it has to do, you just got to wait and wait and wait so I'll just keep waiting and waiting la 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 alright as you can see my light on my USB went out laptop turned off now it's restarting quickly press F2 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 F2, F2. and there you go you should be broken free if you followed my steps correctly you should, regardless of what the password was, you should now have access to the BIOS of your netbook. So with access to the BIOS of your netbook, you can do as you please, install Windows 7, install Windows 8, install Windows XP, install Windows 95, you know, I don't really care what you do, it's your netbook. But now, that is the basic simple tutorial done in under seven minutes of how to simply break through your BIOS password. Thank you for watching.